Welcome to my channel and in this video will be a small supplies haul but it won't be about coloring, it will be more about stitching. You know that my second hobby is cross stitching and one of my favorite scents in cross stitching is Christmas, so I remembered about Christmas in July. Maybe I will color also some Christmas pictures, but for now I decided to purchase some new kits and new supplies to be able to stitch something new for my Christmas tree to be well prepared for December, where I am much more busy and when always I have huge plans to do my Christmas decorations but never have enough free times, so it's better to start from July. And I have here my package, now let's have a look inside. I have purchased a couple of white felt sheets and they will be very helpful to create bag for my stitched ornaments. Next, nothing interesting, I have some stitching floss, which I required for my project and it will be a tiny snowman and I have this plastic canvas finally let's have a look at something more interesting it's a cross stitch kit which you stitch on plastic canvas Sorry for the noise, I just want to show you that inside we have this plastic canvas and you need to stitch two sides. In this series the manufacturer has a big variety of various characters of fairy tales. This one is from a Russian fairy tale. And it's some kind of a witch, but she is not very vicious, she is like a little bit stupid witch. And they also have many other characters, some princes, some knights, and they also have series dedicated to Alice in Wonderland, they have pirates also, and I do love to do such quick kits. Even if they are relatively big, they are 16 by 20, 12 centimeters, so they are relatively big, they work really well as a travel project. When I visit my family, when I need something to take with me without taking something really big and heavy, such kits, they are really very helpful. Another one is with a mermaid from the same series, I really like her, maybe she will be my next project. Honestly, I don't know what I will do with these characters. They were supposed to be standing like small sculptures, or maybe they can be used for kids to play, but I think that when I will stitch all of the characters, I will create something some kind of garland, so I will add a hanger here and it will be some Christmas uh, garland made from fairy tale characters. That's the only idea which I have for now, but as I simply enjoy stitching them, <laughs> I will think later what I will do with the final result of this project. And here is another one, another character from the Russian fairy tale. So here we have this magical fish and she, she was able to fulfill all the uh, desires of the owner. So it's an interesting story, it's really famous for all the Russian speaking people, so I do enjoy doing these kids. Let me unbox the next one. And the next I have another Christmas Sam project. This one is 
in more elegant style and I think that I had selected it because of the unusual color of the fabric. I do love this green base. Let's have a look how it, how it looks in real life, the color of the fabric. Yeah, indeed it's quite interesting. So here we have the floss sorter, fabric and chart. It's the first time when I will be stitching kit from this manufacturer, but I was so in love with the image here that I think that I will give it a try. I don't know, maybe I will start from this one because it's really, really very tempting. I do love this color combo of slightly muted olive green together with all warm colors and I do love how they created shining around the garland of lamps and I do love snow globes. I love all the designs where we have snow globes. Well, what I have purchased next? Another kit from the same series and again character from Russian fairy tales. I have here this kit which I am currently stitching. You can see that it's again the same. I purchased it a couple of months ago and I do love this idea that it was from the fairy tale where frog was turned into a beautiful lady. And I do love this idea of the double-sided figurines. It's really very creative. Let me put everything aside. amount of tiny kits. Everything is stitched on uh, on the wood, on the wooden base. And inside of the kit we have beads, we have thread and in the end there will be quite beautiful and shiny Christmas decorations. Here I have the bear. I hope that you can see the ornament which I need to stitch with beads. I have a couple of reindeers. Here they are. With different colors, various ornaments. They are available in variety of colors, variety of ornaments. Here I have this very funny mousse. The most I decided to take in blue colors. And I also have this rocking horse. And this time I selected a very Christmassy golden and red colors. Maybe let's open one kit. And let's have a look at what we have inside. They are manufactured in Ukraine, so I am quite proud that we have such a nice Christmas kits. So we have, oh, they smell really nice, the real smell of the wood, very pleasant. So we have the thread for attaching beads, we have red and golden beads, we have the chart and we have the red felt to cover the back of the horse when it will be finished. So pretty nice. I will be very happy to try them. Of course inside we have instruction how to attach beads if you're just a beginner. So very convenient, very nice charts again as a um, travel project. And look at this very cute postcard. I hope that inside there will be different postcards. Well, I decided that maybe I will start stitching from the mousse. I do love that it's quite simple, it has only three uh, 
colors of the beads, but they are different in quality. The white is uh, matte and opaque. The next one, the deep blue or royal blue, it's mm, transparent. And the last one, this bright blue, it's transparent with opaque center. So they also have different texture and such difference in beads, they always create very, they add another beauty to the ornament. I know because I love to do beaded uh, uh, ornaments myself, so when we have beads with different te texture, they always look more interesting together. So probably this will be my first project from this series. If you're interested, I can leave you a link to their Instagram profile. Maybe you will be interested in their ornaments also. Well, I think that I definitely will purchase more because I really love how they look. And in each of the colors, they have various ornaments. So you can also purchase snowflakes. You can purchase round ornaments, which represent something like Christmas bubble. And in each of these colors, you can create the whole series. What else I have? I have another Christmas Sam kit. And this one is called Jolly Saint Nick. Let me show you closer. I hope that it won't be a lot of highlights on the surface. I really love it. It has some vintage look, so probably that's what attracted me to this design. And also, just like with coloring, where I do love pictures with a lot of details, I also prefer <laughs> stitching designs with a lot of details. And here you can see very interesting details on the uh, clothes of the Saint Nick, a lot of various gifts starting from packet gifts, then some bunnies, some fruits, some toys, of course dolls, nutcracker, so really a very interesting design and nice frame around. It's really, it's relatively big, it has 50, 54 colors and the size is 29 by 24 centimeters so it will require some time so probably it's quite wise to start stitching it in July to be able to be ready for Christmas you know that I am very slow stitcher because of the very limited free time which I mostly dedicate to coloring so maybe it would be wise to start this kit immediately here are all the beautiful threads and it's interesting that the color of the fabric is another shade of green. I purchased two kits and they all are on green fabric. And my final purchase was another kit, but this time it wasn't Christmas relating. Look at this beauty. I think that I was so devastated from the idea that this year again I won't be able to travel abroad to visit some beautiful places to get proper holidays. I love traveling, I love to go sightseeing, mostly sightseeing and visiting beautiful places. So I think that at least I will be able to stitch beautiful places. There's definitely some beautiful place in Italy, it's in Tuscany and the name of the design is the um, Wineyard Hill. I do love this manufacturer, they also are Ukrainian company but they moved their manufacturing in Poland and I think that it's possible to find their designs worldwide so I am proud that now we have such a nice manufacturer of designs. Again, it definitely won't be easy, it's big, it has a lot of details, a lot of colors, but I'm sure that each and every moment will be a huge pleasure. Just look at all these colors. When I saw these designs, I immediately fall in love and they have a lot of interesting landscapes. I also love another one with Dutch windmills. I love 
similar to this one but with lavender and sunflowers so maybe if i would finish this one i will purchase the next two well i'm really really happy somehow during this terrible heat which we have now in ukraine it's difficult to concentrate on coloring to stay very creative when i start to color i start the feelings that I start to sleep. So cross stitching is a little bit more comfortable. Now you don't have to think, you need to simply follow instructions, especially with such a small projects. So maybe I will dedicate more of my time to cross stitching. Anyway, I am very grateful that you watched this video, that you shared my joy. Sometimes it's nice to divide your time between various hobbies. Then I will return to coloring with even more enthusiasm. So I hope that it will help. Thanks for watching and until the next videos.